We purchased a shouldering machine to obviously to re-shoulder, re-gravel, and bring our shoulders up to the right level, up to the mat. We had some shoulders that had drop-offs that were two to six inches, which is dangerous for the traveling public. So that was a priority for, for our guys, is to, to rectify those little shoulders. There's a small company that, that makes this shoulder machine called the Road Widener. So this machine is much lighter, uh, more efficient, easier to maneuver, easier to transport to the job sites. And really it was, it was uh, time to upgrade for our equipment. We did some research and found that this one was very efficient, uh, but using it, we found that it had a flaw in it where it, when we were on our low trucks, when the box raised up the pin of the box, uh, the tailgate would get caught in that discharge of the shouldering machine and one of the trucks hooked that discharge and as it was lowering it down um, it picked the whole machine up. We had to bring it back in and take it all apart and try to straighten it out. It was just a matter of time before it happened again. With that damage uh, that occurred within two weeks of starting it we actually were completely out of out of commission for our shouldering operation and with these funds here from the opera program we were actually able to, to implement the changes right away. We stiffened up the whole side of that machine, uh, made it a lot stronger. Um, so if it did get hooked again, um, it would deflect off and not wreck anything on, on the shouldering machine. We did a trial run, just one truckload, and we didn't have a problem. So we took it right out to the job and started, and it's been running good ever since. I did share with some of the counties that just purchased this road widener what happened to us, and I think they made modifications too. In all reality, it's a pretty simple fix to reinforce it the way we did. And because the deflector we put on it was just a three by three angle iron that we turned sideways and put on there. So then that pin just deflected it and went around it. So it's, it's very simple, easy repair that you can do to prevent a lot of downtime.